Good morning. Happy Sunday. Let's go thrifting at two new to us thrift stores in Manassas, Virginia, as you can tell from the title of this video. In this first one, I'm going to start in the accessories. Boom, right away found two really amazing embroidered bags. And we're going to take a look at some of the other selection. They had a few Vera Bradley pieces and some other kind of equal level designer bags that were priced really reasonably. This cool Kate Spade tote. It's in really good condition, a cool graphic, and it was priced at $10. And everything, as you can see from the title of this video, was 50% off at these stores that day. So five bucks for that Kate Spade. Here's a cool leather Cole Haan bag. I really considered that would have been 12 bucks. A really nice piece. I just didn't personally need it. And then I went to look at the hats. There's some cute little snapbacks here. So I'm just going to show you some of these fun vintage ones that they had. I liked this I Heart New York one, but I looked closer and it was actually just drawn on there with Sharpie, which was funny to me. So I didn't grab it. spotted a couple pairs of really nice shoes these Tory Burch slides they would have been priced at I think $12 on the sale which is crazy and then these Talbot's heels that I just thought were a super cute color and they would have been 11 bucks on the sale then I'm gonna look at the belts really quick I am shopping for new belts for myself I thought this one with the floral was cute but wrong size this was a nice leather LL Bean belt but it wasn't the right size for me either I love the detail on the end of a belt like that though but I did find this red belt that was the right size so snagged that one up for 50 cents on sale and now we're gonna go over and start looking through the clothing there's not a huge selection at this store but you're gonna see some real gems right off the bat I found this Diane von Furstenberg gown in a size 8 so not not for me but it would have been six bucks such an amazing deal for somebody who has like a black tie to go to and needs an affordable dress so I left it there for the next person in the men's side I found a few nice like cozy pieces they didn't have they had more like winter gear on this particular day but I thought this nice little flannel was really cozy so I snagged that here's a nice vintage gap cotton sweater so threw that in the cart as well I can't believe I just found this <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, as I said, I couldn't believe this find a silk sequin and fully beaded vest from Bloomingdale. So cool. I thought this blouse was kind of interesting with the lapels and the pockets on it, and it was 100% silk. It looks vintage to me with that tag, but I left Holy it. Holy cow. And this jacket, super cool. It's a silk blend. Love like the funky print mix patchwork so I snagged that and then I love this like chartreuse color of jacket I had one of these that I ended up selling so I threw that in the cart to consider and here's a fun vintage Neiman Marcus piece so I had to snag that in the cart as well and I'm just gonna flip through and show you a little bit more of the selection there's a big mix, as you can see here, of different styles and brands. And then boom, I found this like cool, shiny Y2K shirt. I had to throw that in the cart. And then here in another minute, I found a second one in blue, which I think the blue is so, so cool. And it looks like a plus size, so I grabbed that. Here's a little vintage single stitch t-shirt from Bethany Beach. Super cute, a little bit of a cropped fit, so I grabbed that. And then I thought this denim shirt with the embroidery was really cute. I thought it was like maybe a little bit too sweet, but it does look like a good plus size piece for somebody who wants to rock a cottage core vibe. So I left it for the next person. And then not a lot of bottoms, but I did spot this cute vintage wool skirt. It was the wrong size for me, definitely out of season. So I left that as well. 
And now I want to show you some of the home goods because they had some cute little vintage home decor pieces like these strange eyed dogs. Um, this really cool dried floral piece with like a curved glass setting. Those are super hard to find to me and really cool. And then just a couple of other random fun things that I wanted to show you in this shop. This is such a great like classic thrift store item. It's just so random. It's a big sketch of Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Why? We don't know. It's very good. There's the artist. It's $25. Oh my God, there's Denzel. Oh my God, check this out. Some more of the Garfield mugs. I need one more for my brother's collection. <laughs> oh, look at that Senka throwback. And now it's time to sort through my cart. Uh, this piece you can see has some damage on the front, so I left it. This jacket also had a lot of damage on close inspection. There was a lot of fraying on the seams of the patchwork, so I ended up leaving this one as well. It was unfortunate, but hopefully somebody finds it who would want to fix it. I had found this cute vintage sweatshirt, but I left that because I just didn't need it. And then this one I love, the sweater is good. All these pieces you're gonna see at the end of the video in the haul, I'm gonna do a try on for you. But for now, we're gonna go on to the next thrift store. Heading to our second stop, I'm gonna take you straight into the women's clothing section. You guys, I love this thrift store, another total hidden gem. I'm so happy I'm finally taking you in here. And on this particular day, they were having a sale on a lot of the women's clothing. I think it was all of the women's tops were 50% off and they already priced things really low at typically $5 and less. So we're gonna find some good deals. They had some real vintage gems in here today. That's primarily what I'm looking for are pieces that I would like to wear that are either quality material like this is 100% silk really nice or some fun funky vintage gems as always and i'm also looking a little bit for my shops because i'm doing flea markets all summer and i need to like kind of keep my inventory <laughs> fresh for those flea markets and here's a cute little vintage gem i didn't end up snagging this one but i liked the embroidery and it was 100 percent cotton again when it comes to shopping in these thrift stores where you're not sure what to look for Always look at the tags and check out the fabrics, 100% silk and cotton, linen materials, fun, funky patterns like this Kara Little piece and brands that you love. There's the first one to go in my basket and I'm just gonna keep sorting through. There's a lot of tops here, so let's see what we find. Here's a vintage single stitch tee from 86. So super excited about that one. That definitely went in the basket. So I had to check this one out because I think the graphic is super cute and I don't know exactly what that is. It looks like it's a college maybe, but I decided I didn't like the cut of it because I had like a super wide neck, so I left it. And then a little vintage basic right behind it. Love Josephine Chouse pieces. Uh, that was a cotton blend, but again, I just wasn't sure about the cut of it and it was pretty sheer, so I left it. And then this piece I considered as well, it was really pretty, but um, I didn't know about the sizing and things like that, so I left it as well. 
Here's a cute Celica button-up basic. I feel like I have thrifted this blouse a few times. It always sells for me because people love a good, cute vintage basic like that. So I ended up throwing that in the basket. A few more cute vintage tops here and there ends up being like a whole pocket of vintage right here so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of everything that I found and I'm gonna be throwing a number of these into my basket as you'll see on this are so cute. This entire rack is just fire. <laughs> you guys, look at this cute quilted vest. Oh my gosh. I Don't come for me. The reason I did not get this is because I thought someone needs it for 4th of July weekend. And it was like J June 27th when I was in this store. So I had to leave it for the next person to find. Okay, check this out. This is a Dungeons and Dragons brand hoodie. It's modern-ish. Wait, 2018. Look at the graphic on the back though. Oh, it's Montgomery Ward. Oh my god.
This is interesting. It's like a screen printed Hello Kitty on a button up. Really cute. Made in Thailand is the only tag. So it's like a bootleg Hello Kitty. This is Loki, my favorite find of the day. I am so excited, as you can see. And I think you'll be able to tell when I try it on at the end of the video that it's just such a cute, classic vintage basic, and I'm so excited to wear it. So wait for the end for the try on and you'll see what I'm talking about. dresses. This paisley dress is 100% silk. Really nice piece. I think the print is gorgeous. It would look amazing on somebody. They could style that so many fun ways, but wrong size for me and I decided not to grab it for my shop, so I left it for somebody else. And then they had just like a lot of kind of basic cotton dresses, but there are a few little vintage bangers in here that we're going to hit soon. So stay tuned for those. And uh, there's some exciting finds in this dress section. like a lot going on there but I think that's cool it's vintage the cut of it is really nice too it has a bias cut skirt hmm oh my god this oh, that's so cute my Michelle made in USA vintage Eek. Ooh. This is the type of stuff I like to wear, really simple. I think it's too small. But I love uh, all that jazz brand stuff. I have a few pieces, they're great. Ooh, this is a cool one. 90s dress. I like the print of it is just very cool. 2XL. that. Here's another really cute one. Time to take a look at some of the bags. Oh my God. 
gosh. This tote back here. Hang on. Oh, oh I love that. That's fun. Oh, look. The, the little tag is the pointer. Four bucks. <sighs> I love that. Wow, it has little feet too. That's nice. Oh, I'm getting that for sure. Also, stranger dog, Rottweiler toe. It's <laughs> cute. These look like they might be vintage 70s sunglasses to me based on the style. Pretty excited about them. They look pretty rad. They were 50 cents. I had to get them. Another edition of fun coffee mugs. Okay, the coffee mug game at both of these thrift stores was actually super on point. Very fun stuff. I didn't end up taking anything from this second stop, but I wanted to show you some of the fun pieces. And let me know if you like seeing that type of thing. I think it could be fun in future videos to always try to stop by the coffee mug section and show you a few of the most interesting and weird, bizarre ones. So let me know if that's something you'd want to see. That's the biggest Raggedy Ann I've ever seen. It's 20 bucks <laughs> for my inner wannabe horse girl. <laughs> really cute knits. I already found so much. My basket, like, I have to carry it with two hands. Like, <laughs> Fully. And we gotta go look at the men's stuff. Here's the men's section. It's a bit smaller, but hopefully some goodies in here. There's something. That's cool. I love this sweatshirt that this is on. It's like really plush. Plain, nothing on the back. That's really cool. Yeah, that's a good find. Time to sort through this. <laughs> okay, these are my nose. I'm gonna leave this i think it's really cute but not for me and this it's polyester i'm kind of leaving some pieces like that today this i just thought was a little too basic even though it's super nice uh again just not sure i'm picking up some things for my shop because i've been doing flea markets all summer and so i need some fresh inventory each month so I'm really looking for stuff that I think people will want and some of these I just don't know I feel like they might sit so I'm gonna leave them of course I don't want to take all the cool vintage out of this surf shop either but I do think they have some goodies like they had a lot of good stuff today so I'm leaving all of those and then I have a bunch of maybes <laughs> Um, this I think is a great basic. I love Celica. This I love. I love the print and it's plus size, but it needs some stain treatment, so I'm debating. This is fun, like 80s moment. Um, this place top that probably will come home because those are, I always love those. This one I'm debating. I think the print makes this cool, but I'm not, I'm not sure if somebody would buy that. Uh, I think someone might buy this bootleg Hello Kitty, so I might snag it. This dress, I, I can't decide if that's cool or not. I think it is. It has pockets. We'll see. Um, this set. This dress. This dress. So those are my maybes. All right, we'll use this old 
fogged over mirror to say goodbye because I finished sorting and this was our last stop of the day so I will get you the haul coming up next and hopefully do a little bit of try on some of the pieces. I got a lot of great pieces today so I am just going to show you a quick try on haul. seeing these new to us thrift stores will definitely be back those are both winners total hidden gems in my mind so I'll see you guys down here in the comments today and back soon for a new video the dogs are playing right at my feet <laughs> come on guys is that the only spot to play they're cute <laughs>